no different than last night was Tajay. He'll probably probably be week to week. Um, so we'll just sort of see how that plays out. But um, it was significant enough to where you know he's kind of in question for this week. And then we'll see where we get after that. But um, sometimes those guys heal fast. Sometimes they need another week or two. So just kind of see where he ends up. Rest of the guys are normal bumps and bruises and, and nothing uh, as of right now that would that would lead to any any injury issues outside of that. So uh, other than that, I'll let you guys go ahead. Brian, this is your first season as an offensive play caller. Is How much of it is uh, in the moment, in the heat of the battle, just trying to get through the rhythm and, and, and balancing all the playmakers that you're trying to get the ball to and spread everything around? Yeah, there's it's all part of the process. I mean, trying to find ways to make sure guys are involved. Um, it's just a give and take. There's not a whole lot more to it than that. And uh, feel pretty good about a lot of things. And then there's things that I that I definitely can do better. So um, that's probably the best way to put it. When you self scout the play calling in that fourth quarter, what are some of the things that you might have done differently looking back at? You know, I, I tried to I tried to get the ball to to hop and try to get the ball to rid. Uh, let those guys have opportunities to to try to go help us win the game. Uh, at, at a certain point, you know, we, we I ran the ball once or twice, but it wasn't, you know, we, we were in a chance where we had to get some yardage um, and that the clock was a, a bit of an issue. Um, but I, I didn't, I wouldn't necessarily take back a whole lot. I think that there was some plays that, you know, we had the slant to, to rid that would have been a really kind of a critical play for us. Um, got us another fir- a first down at about midfield and, and we would have been in a pretty good spot. Probably, you know, I don't. The, the third and one call. Uh, there's probably a better call there than that one. Um, but I tried to, you know, we run the ball well and tried to get a yard, and I ran duo, and and we didn't get a yard. Um, so yeah, there's there's always going to be plays that, you know, win or loss. There's always plays I look back on that a play could have been better here, better there. I, I wish I called this instead of that. That that's pretty normal. Um, but I, I don't. I feel okay about the fourth quarter and and. Thought we had chances and we didn't do much with it. Overall, how similar or different do you feel your play calling has been from what you envisioned initially at this point? As far as like more conservative, less conservative. Yeah, I mean that was that was obviously a, a conservative game plan style. Um, I knew we were going to be able to run the ball well. I thought we did for the most part. You know, through three quarters, that game was about um, you know what it what I thought it would look like, and it was our defense was playing well. We were running the ball. You know, we had two different 17 play drives, and we scored off a turnover. Uh, we were we were playing the game in a in a way that I thought was good enough to win through that point, and then um, obviously didn't get it get it done. We got to find a way to finish in the fourth quarter. That's sort of been our issue uh, over the course of the season so far in these tight games, is we haven't uh, done enough on offense to to go win a game, and, and you got to score more than 17 points. You, your goal is probably always to try to get to at least 24. Uh, it's going to put you in pretty good position to win, and, and we haven't gotten that. So. Um, I don't know that it, I think every game is different. Every, every week is different. Um, I would certainly like to be a lot better in the passing game than we've been though. That's for certain. Will said, yeah, given, Will said that in the, that the shoulder was not a hundred percent, but it was healthy enough for him to, where he felt like he could go out and win the game. Yeah. And, but then he also said that on the interception, he felt like that had his shoulder been better, he could have made a better throw. Sure. How do you balance that, and what kind of was the situation with his arm yesterday? Um, I've, he, everything leading up to the game and in practice and everything felt like he was he's good enough to make the throws that he needed to make to win the game. And I didn't have any reservations necessarily about that. I didn't think there was any real ill effect. I mean, I knew there was going to be some pain. That's just part of it. Um, I appreciate him trying to, to manage that and fight through it for his teammates and for our team. Uh, I didn't see anything that would have – made me feel like he wasn't able or willing to actually be able to play at the level he needed to play at. Um, that throw at the, the interception, he really had he had pressure um, kind of in his face and he couldn't quite get everything into it anyway. Uh, I don't know that an arm strength or would have a healthy shoulder would have made much of a difference truthfully. Um, but you know he's whatever he had to say is, is how he felt, but I, I didn't feel anything going into the week that would lead me to believe that he wasn't ready to we see Make veteran throws. additions uh, around the league at wide receiver, not to mention rookies, produce mm-hmm. right away. You know, we had a lot of questions about Calvin and Will during preseason and, and camp, yeah. and everybody said that it'll be fine, that they'll be fine. He's got nine balls and 27 targets, which seems quite concerning. 
Well, why is Calvin Ridley so ineffective in this offense at this time? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't. There's multiple things that you could point to good that explain one route versus another route versus all, there's all kinds of ways to explain it away. But I'm not really into doing that at this point. Um, you know, got to find ways to make more plays, got to find ways to get the ball to him, and he's got to find ways to, to make the plays. You know, I think ultimately what we've lacked so far, uh, really in all three phases, is when it's been time to make a, a, a critical play or make the game-winning play. Um, we haven't done that for whatever reason with, with spots. So got to keep working, got to find a way to get better. Um, but, you know, I, I'm glad we have Calvin. We just got to – we've got to find a way to make that connection work. There's really no other way about it. And obviously the stats tell you what they tell you, but – um, need more, need better. When you feel you've got here, uh, you kind of talked about learning Joe Burrow and the comfort that you had with Joe telling you what he needs, doesn't need, likes, doesn't like. When a guy like Calvin after the game is talking about needing to get involved more early to feel better late, is there an adjustment that you feel like you should make to make him comfortable? Um, yeah, I'll always take that into account when guys feel that. I, I, it's, it's certainly not for... Um, it wasn't for lack of intent that much. I can tell you, you know, and I told uh, the things I talked to Calvin about for all receivers, this is a common conversation that Calvin's not the first one to, uh, to, to know that he wants to get in a rhythm and he certainly won't be the last. And, um, the ability to get him the ball early is, is something that we tried to do. Um, I had a couple of plays called for him and he can't control where the ball goes all the time and he can't control if the ball gets batted or he can't, those are things out of his control. Um, and so I don't mind it. I, I know Calvin wants to win. That's all he really wants to do. He wants to help us win. I love his passion. Uh, I love his uh, a drive to want to help the team and do the right things because that's what he ultimately all he wants to do is win and help and be a factor in that process. And he is a factor. He's got to. We got to find ways to get the production early, late, whenever, um, because he's going to be part of the reason why we win. And that's a um, ultimately hasn't been enough at this point, but. Yeah, there's. I certainly appreciate the feedback, and, and those are things that I talk about with those guys all the time and um, try to get them the ball when we can give them the ball. Do you feel differently today about the way you, you think you can best utilize him in your offense than the day that you guys signed him? Uh, no, I mean, I, I – no. No, I don't feel any different. I, I think there's, there's some things we tried to do with him that we haven't connected on that, that I think is how you use him, and there's some things that – uh, he does really well that we keep trying to highlight more of. And at this point, we, again, there's a lot of reasons why, but uh, haven't had enough production between him and Will and in our passing game in general. With the amount of short throws from Will, with the amount of check downs, with the amount of hot, mm -hmm. that suggests that you've already got your verdict uh, on Will and, and what you can no. do with him? No, I don't think that's the case, no. Um, I think there's a lot of things that he, he can do better, and there's things that I can do to help him better. Uh, and then there's there's around him can play better too. You know, I think that we're really close. Um, there's a lot of things that we do well, and there's a lot of things that that we just haven't quite gotten over the hump on when it comes to uh, you know losing one score games, lost three of them now, uh, where we're we're in position to have a chance to win, and we haven't done it. And I don't know that that's necessarily a it's not all the will thing either. There's there's things that I can do better to help him and. Um, just haven't been there yet. And again, we're, we're tight, we're close, and, and we got to play better, there's no doubt. Uh, and he's got to play better. But there's things that I think are, are encouraging and positive about it as well. If the theme of the season, though, is to see Will do everything Will can do and get an ultimate verdict on yeah. Will, is, is, wouldn't that idea fall in line with letting him cut it loose more rather than playing it safe? Yeah, I mean, I, I know. Yeah. I, there's there's definitely calls that you know go down the field that don't get thrown down the field. Um, so yeah, I, I don't I don't. It was, it was conservative nature in some of the runs because we run on the ball well. Um, but yeah, I mean we can we can just drop back and throw it down the field more. Sure, I don't know. That's <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Is the the conservative game plan that you kind of mentioned is that kind of a, a vision that you had for this team when you first kind of saw this offense coming together? And if not. What has changed over five games now that has led you to a more conservative style of, of game plan? Um, of quite a few things, but you know, at the end of the day, we've we've 
played a brand of football that complements our defense that's played really well. We put ourselves in position to win. We've had leads at halftime. We've had leads going into the fourth quarter, and we haven't finished a game. So, you know, I don't uh, – there's, there's a way that we've had to play right now. Uh, we've made a lot of mistakes early. We're making less of them, which is encouraging. And, um, you know, it's, it's ultimately for us right now coming down to, to making the plays at the end of the game to go win it. Uh, and we haven't done that yet. As With those ball, turnovers, a lot of them are coming from shooting the ball down the field. Does that kind of weigh into? Because I know you're dialing up the deep shots, mm -hmm. but a lot of times it's leading to turnovers. Does that weigh into like balancing it and trying to really yeah, back? Yeah, there's a balance. You know, there's a there's definitely a balance, and um, you know, those the balls down the field are not they're not necessarily high percentage throws either. You're going to hit some, and you're going to not hit others, and. Um, we're trying to make sure we're we were trying to stay efficient, stay in front of the sticks, and not get into these third and longer situations that hurt us early in the season. Uh, which I think over the last two games we've done a good job of. We've been in a lot more manageable spots on third down, uh, with a lot more opportunity to convert uh, than we did, you know, probably the first three weeks. Um, and so that's a, that's all part of it. Um, is trying to make sure that we can we're maintaining a an efficiency that allows us to get into third and manageable spots, uh, as opposed to you know hitting one or two deep shots, but then missing two or three, and then now we're we're half the game at third and nine plus. So that's sort of the idea. When you as, as, as a play caller, how do you walk the line of wanting your quarterback to be accountable to the system and making the right reads and the right and taking the right looks versus his the aggressive nature that sometimes he dis had displayed last year that maybe, you know, where it's let him be him. Yeah, I mean, I can't necessarily speak to last year, but um, yeah, there's there's moments where you you have to be aggressive at quarterback and you have to let go of a throw and let it rip, and um, you know, there's been a few of those, but again, we haven't had a lot of them either. So uh, there's probably a place for for more of it. Uh, he can let it rip a little more often, but um, you know, we just we need to find more explosiveness in general if, if we want to be able to throw the ball well. So that's kind of where I'm at. Whether it's you a shoulder win. or something else, did, did Will take a step back yesterday on the timing of, of some of his decisions and getting the ball out? Um, yeah, there's probably one or two that were that were a little bit off timing. But other than that, I don't think it was a step back. I think it was just, you know, keep playing and to keep finding ways to uh, get the ball out where you need to get it out. But um, I think that's every game, though. And you're never going to walk through a game and uh, at quarterback and be perfect on your timing, every every throw and every rep. Um, things disrupt your timing, coverage disrupts your timing. So um, it's it's not a perfect science. You're never going to go through and say this is perfect. Every every throw, every rep of, of every drop back pass. So um, I think that's pretty normal standard operating procedure for the most part at quarterback. When you weigh those dynamics of doing what it takes to win week to week against the development, figuring out who players are, where do the priorities stack? Right now. Well, the priority is always to try to find a way to win. And uh, I've always been, it's, it's sort of whatever it takes, whatever style you have to play, however the game plan has to play out. It's it's whatever it takes to give us a chance to win the game. And I, and I think, again, we've, outside of the Green Bay game, we've been in those spots. You know, we've been we've been in position to, to win a game, and uh, we haven't found a way to do that yet. And I think that's the biggest issue right now is just finding that way to make the Make the play, make the throw, make the tackle, make the interception, return a punt. You know, something that gives us a chance to, to make a play to win the game. And it's not solely, it's not just one phase, it's all three phases. Um, but yeah, our, we're, our focus is always going to be, you know, how do we best put ourselves in position to win the game. Anything going on with, with Snead late from a health standpoint and how you maybe evaluate how you, you played yesterday? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that, I mean, it was probably not his best game. I'm sure he would tell you that. Um, Health-wise, no. I, there's nothing that not nothing that I, I don't think is going to be a outside of the normal. Um, nothing came up in the game, if that's the question. But um, yeah, it just it, it certainly wasn't his his best performance. But um, you know, that's part of playing corner. Some days some days aren't great, and you got to bounce back and get ready to go again. Again, I I think he's a hell of a player and a really good corner, and, and I'm happy we have him. The clock seems to to wind down occasionally, at least yeah. on, on Will. Is that? The play coming in, are you? Yeah, I look at all. I look at all that stuff. Um, some of it's some of it's the you know I try to get the plays in as fast as possible. Um, some of it's line of scrimmage mechanics that maybe we have a, a two plays called or we have a protection adjustment we have to make, uh, or Will's using his cadence to try to see if he can uncover a, a pressure or look, whatever that is. So um, yeah, I mean I, I can do a better job of, of probably getting the play in even faster and. 
Uh, we got to do a better job coming out of the huddle and getting set and getting lined up faster too. I think it's a there's all all elements of it could could be better in certain instances. I know it's not it's not been killer. It's not like we're getting delayed game penalties left and right, but um, one of the delays I took on purpose because we had something go sideways. But outside of that, I mean, yeah, there's a couple of times that, that the, the clock runs down on us, but um, especially on third down, that's relatively normal, you know, across the league. And yeah, there's probably ways I can get better too. When you think back on the, the rookie Will Levis that you watched coming in as a new coach, the guy you signed up to play with, do you see progress in second year Will Levis so far? Yeah, I think there's things that he's gotten better at. Um, and I think there's things that he's going to continue to get better at. And there's things about, um, you know, what he did last year. It's, you know, it's just different circumstance, different different everything. So it's, it's hard for me to make comparisons um, to what he did last year, to what he did this year. I just know the things that I thought he needed to improve in. Uh, there's some things that he has done a lot better. And then there's things that he needs to continue to do better. So, you know, I, it's comparing and contrasting the last year and this year. Just the circumstances are totally different. Um, the, everything's different. So it's it's hard for me to make any real comparisons to that. But I do think that he's done some things better. Um, he's he's been the ball comes out quick right now, which is good. We need it to. Um, you know, and I know he hasn't had the flash some of those flash plays that came up last year, but. You know, that's not where we're at right now. Why'd you, why'd you make the move to Watson? How you think he played? And is that a, a, a permanent move you think moving forward? Uh, I, I thought he played okay. I, I wouldn't say that he's, uh, that that position is locked down by any stretch. Um, we'll see. I mean, there's, we're, we're trying to find an answer there that the, we haven't got the caliber of play that's required to have a right tackle that can function. And, and so far it's, uh, results have been not where we need them to be. And so that, Leroy wasn't terrible, but he wasn't great, and we'll keep looking at it. Do you expect days like yesterday with the defensive penalties to happen just as a product of how aggressive you guys play over there, or is there something that can do to kind of address that? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a little bit of cost of doing business to some degree. It's We're going to be an aggressive coverage team. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the, the, the penalties were critical. I mean, in critical spots for, for big gains on third downs. Um, so we got to find a way to clean that up, though. You know, the, you can't keep giving up third down penalties and uh, taking away turnovers and all those things. And, and whether they were the right calls or not isn't really up to me. It's just we got to find a way to eliminate those. I think when you give 120-something yards of penalties, um, you know, on the game in general, that's a on a three-point game, that's a lot of yards uh, to lose out on. And um, got to be able to clean that up. It's got to be better than it was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, it didn't fix a lot of yeah, and our pass protection has improved, I think, every week. Um, I don't know that it's I – don't, I don't know that there's any problems to necessarily that were any different yesterday than there were other weeks. Again, we you know, we ran the ball a lot to try to mitigate some of those issues um, and try to limit the amount of times that we expose those pressure looks and pass rushes and all those things. So – um, it's all part of the part of the process of trying to make sure you're putting your team in position to win. And if dropping back is is something that ends up being difficult over time, and if you do more, the more you do of it, the harder it gets for us. Then you know we're going to have to do what we did yesterday and lean on our run game and lean on our action game and um, try to keep finding ways to move the ball down the field. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got to. There's no, uh, there's, there's no reprieve. You got to come back to work. Uh, you got to find ways to get better. You know our detail and precision. Uh, we can keep improving that. And I think guys understand that we're close. We're not, we're not far from um, being a team capable of winning these games that we've lost. And uh, there's a lot of positive things. Our guys play really hard. Uh, there's plenty of things that I, that that I can lean on and point out that are really positive. And the, you know, when you're when you're one and four, it's you know the negative obviously gets highlighted, and that's as it should. You know, I mean, I, I get that, but um, there still is a lot of good things that are going on. There's a lot of good individual performances, um, guys playing a high level of football for us that are giving us chances to win these games. Um, and so that's what that's 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 it. I mean, that's the message. You got to get, you got to keep finding ways to get better. We got to find ways to close out a game. Uh, we got to find ways to 
take a three-point game that's a loss for us and make it a win. And there's plenty of things that we can do to do that. But um, that, to me, is the ultimate message. You just you keep you keep hammering and you keep going through your process and you find ways to get better. And if you got to change some things, you change them. Um, but yeah, there's <clears throat> there's plenty of positive to me uh, about what we put on tape so far. And there's again plenty of things that have led to us being one and four and not three and two or three and three or four and whatever it is. Um, and that's the message to me is you just you got to come back to work and you got to get ready to roll and and you got to find things to fix fix that you can fix and control the things you can control from a personal from a coaching level from a playing level from a, a unit from a position um, I don't really know any other way to go about it than that and uh, you know you keep you keep focusing on trying to get better and, and hopefully that's that leads leads to some wins and you got to get a, one of these wins to put you over the hump and build some confidence and get some momentum, and, and we haven't been able to do that uh, enough yet. So that's 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 all it is. That's the only way I know how to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, not at all. I, that, I do. I believe in our locker room, and uh, everything that we do on a daily basis tells me that. Um, outbursts after a loss and frustration after a loss is normal. Uh, it means the guys care. It means that they want to win, and I don't have any problem with that. That's not to me. Um, that's not to me a detriment. That means that get the guys are, are passionate about what they're doing, and um, and that they want to, they want the result to be different. And I think that's great personally. Um, because if you got guys that care and you got guys that want to keep going and, and they are frustrated by losing, that, that makes me feel really good that we can find ways to fix whatever it is and be able to win. Um, but I, I love the locker room. Our guys are made of the right stuff. I, I've not wavered on that one bit. Um, and that's because I, I see it every day. And you, know, and, and, and you guys see some of it, but you don't see all of it. And, and you see the, the after the game and you see the back and forth. And look, it's, that's pro football. It's emotional. Guys get that way. I, you know, There's times when I'm emotional too, but um, – Again, that makes me feel like we got the right people that, that want to win and want to do what it takes to win, and um, and they do that. They do everything we ask them to do, and they work their ass off. And um, oh, I, I have no I have no doubts about about what our what our locker room is made of. Is your confidence, is your confidence level in that will will win games for you still as high as it was at the start of the year? Yeah, I, it is. I think that there's plenty of things that um, we have to keep getting better at with him. Um, there's things that he does well. Uh, Got to keep finding ways to highlight those things for him, um, but yeah, we he, he needs a little bit of success too. He needs to get a little confidence going. I think that's right now where everybody's at is we need to find a way uh, to start validating our 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 work. And right now we don't have enough of it. Um, and so the confidence parts are it's a that's a real part of playing quarterback. You know, you keep keep coming up on the bot and on the back end of these things and not winning. Um, yeah, you got to find a way to fight through that. And you got to be you know it's it's. it's part of what I believe in and you have to be resilient and to play quarterback in the NFL you got to be resilient uh, you got to be probably more resilient than, than any position um, because the scrutiny is so intense and that's just how it is and I think that he gets a little momentum going his way and, and I'm confident that that we can find ways to win along those lines on the list of things that make winning hard in the NFL where does unlocking the potential of a young quarterback rank one more time let me just make sure I heard that right things that uh, make it difficult to win mm -hmm. Yeah, very high. I mean, it's this is a quarterback-driven league, you know. Uh, the best teams have the best quarterbacks usually, um, and the guys that are that are playing for division championships and conference championships and Super Bowls are usually the the, the best quarterbacks in in the league. And um, to have a young quarterback to be able to find a way to play well uh, is 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 the name of the game. That's what everyone's searching for. Um, the ones that don't have them uh, are looking for them, and that's. You know, I think we have a guy that's got the potential to be a really good quarterback. Um, thus far, we haven't met the potential, and we have to keep working at it. But there's certainly uh, – that is – the passing game in the NFL and the quarterback position are, are, are huge factors in, in how your team wins and loses games. Get the first interception of the season yesterday and for you to get your hands on it. Yeah, I mean, I feel it's good to, uh, you know, get one of those for real. 
Uh, you look at, have you had a chance to look at the tape yet? Jarvis got his hands on a ball. Was that one that uh, did, did the flag maybe go against him? Should that have been a pick? I mean, he had good position. Um, he had hands at the line of scrimmage. He was on top. Um, I mean, it was just a tough call. I mean, I felt like he was in position. He caught the ball. I mean, it was a good catch. He got his feet in bounce too, but I mean, it's just unfortunate that he got the penalty. When you look at the defensive effort from yesterday, what what would you like about what you saw? What are some things you feel like could have been better? Um, I think that um, we played we played physical. Uh, we played with effort. Um, you know, I thought we were playing with technique from my point of view, um, but I mean, I guess the refs must have felt differently with how we were playing down the field. Um, but I mean, overall, we got to find a ways to create more turnovers, whether it's getting it off the quarterback or getting it off the running backs or whoever has a, the ball in their hand. Money, when you look and you see a team drives the field four times for points and all four drives are in double-digit plays, what does that tell you about what's not going right on your side of the ball? Um, just got to get off the field. Um, we, had them, we had them stopped and then uh, a couple of times there. And then, you know, the play got extended from a penalty or something like that. So, I mean, I felt like our play was our play was good. I mean, they had 150 yards with penalty yards. So, I mean, take that for what it is. Um, but, I mean, overall, we just got to be better as just, you know, getting off the field, finding a way to, to finish. Could you guys talk about penalties in the room during the week? Quandre said yesterday something like you live by and you die by and when you play this aggressive. Like, do you feel that way too? Or is there a way to play this aggressive without sometimes getting those? I mean, I feel like we've been playing the same way all year long. Um, I think it just depends on who's calling it and how, they, how, like, how the crew likes to call things. But, I mean... I just go out there and try to play the best I can, um, make sure that all the guys, you know, w know what the refs are looking for. We ask them, you know, during the game, pregame, what they're looking for, and we try to, you know, teeter our play to that. You're one and four with two tough road trips coming up. How, how do you keep this thing from unraveling? Um, stick together. Um, sticking together. Um, just understanding that we're, we are just a few plays away. Um, I know it's getting tired of saying that, but you know it's true. I mean, we're one score games out of three of the games that we lost. And we just got to find a way to create turnovers, create plays um, offensively, and then create field positions on the special teams. You've been a guy that you were here when the team was really good. And you played through a lot of the struggles that the team's had over the last two or three seasons. What, what do you feel like has been kind of the difference that the reason that, that this team has struggled the last couple of years? Um, I mean, last I don't want to speak on last year I mean, because it's, it's, it's in the past. But um, I think this year's difference is just, um, like I said, just making it's a little things, you know, making those plays, making the extra block. Um, I think something that's very important is, you know, practice during the week. Um, you want to be successful on Sunday. You have to, you know, show that during the week and celebrate the moments in practice. So then that when it comes into a game, it's, you know, second nature. So I think it's just um, comes down to practice and um, practice at a high level. And then when you come down to the game, you have all the confidence in the world to go out there and you know do what you've been doing. The offense gets stuck on that 17-point wall again. How do you avoid the finger pointing uh, at this point? I mean, we got to help them out. Special teams have to be able to help them out. Um, defense, we have to you know do our job. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, you just got to do your job. I mean, you don't want to point fingers. They could point fingers at us for having all the penalties you know on defense extended drive. So. I mean, it's not a point and finger game. Um, it's we're a team. We are one. So we just got to go out there and just just win. Money, even in the last couple of years when things struggled or losing streaks happened, I think most people would have said that the culture here was really strong and the locker room stuck together, as you mm -hmm. just talked about. Yesterday, we saw a lot of guys really frustrated, kind of spilling over in the locker room. Do you feel that the culture of this team is as strong as it has been in the past? Uh, I think the culture is strong. I mean, I think yesterday you just ex saw, you know, guys that were frustrated with losing, um, guys that felt like we, that was a game that we, we could have won and should have won. But, I mean, we're, we're a veteran group. Um, we have a, have a bunch of young guys here and there. But, you know, we're a group that sticks together. We understand that we got the pieces. Um, we understand that we're a few, play, a few plays away. So, I mean, I don't see our culture going anywhere. I mean, we got a, a nice squad and a good group of leaders. That veteran presence does that help knowing that it's a long season that you know there's a lot of teams that start fast it's how you finish in November and December that matter most it definitely um, November December just tells you about a, a lot about a team um, you know when things are going good are you going to be a front runner or you know, th when things are going bad are you going to be able to you know tighten up your bootstraps and go to work how big of a challenge will it be to 
for you guys to find your footing these next two weeks on the road against two of the better teams in the league? Um, you know, it will be it will be interesting to see you know how guys come up this week and come to work. Um, you know, we got to make sure that you know we hone in on the details. You know, we go into tough environments. Um, you know, but the, those teams watch film too, and they know that you know we're not a team that's just going to show up and you know give in. So uh, we're going to go out there and compete and give ourselves the best chance to win. Anything else? Thanks, 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 Thanks. Maybe some of the things to build on. No sacks allowed yesterday. Uh, what was working for the offensive line yesterday? Uh, hey, we had a, a better week. Uh, just obviously wasn't enough because we didn't win, but. I feel like we had a good week of practice. I feel like it was the uh, best week uh, as a group that we had. And we just got to continue to build on it and uh, make more plays than you know, we did. Um, just give guys more opportunities to you know, make plays. So we just got to continue to work and continue to continue to get better. How was uh, Leroy and how, was, and how was it kind of the, the change of having a different guy out there? What, what's that like for the rest of you? It wasn't too much of a difference. I mean, Leroy's been around. He's he knows the system. He knows what Coach Callahan wants. So uh, we knew he would step up and do well in, in that role. And uh, yeah, he was great. How would you describe the feeling of that fourth quarter, just on the sideline on the field when everything was going wrong? Shoot, just frustrating. I mean, uh, we've been going through the same things this whole season. We just got to find a way to get over that hump. We had multiple opportunities. We just, you know, not coming up, uh, not. You know, producing as a whole offensively, so uh, we got to we got to do something to, and find a way to get better. I talked to Pete after the game. He he felt like after you guys went up seventeen ten, you kind of shut down on the offense a little bit. You, you agree with that? And what happened? Yeah, I, I don't think it was obviously not in, intentional. We didn't relax or anything. It's just uh, we had opportunities there, and we just didn't come up. You know, we had a, a third and one we didn't convert. Uh, a few plays, other plays that didn't go our way. So. Uh, we can sit here and complain about calls, the referees, whatever, whatever. But you know, it's it's our job to make uh, make things happen, and we just we're not doing that as a whole uh, consistently enough. Which frustrating team? is the fourth quarter kind of disappointment and shutdown for this team? And do you have any answers at this point after looking at the film through five or six weeks? Uh, you know, we we always preach. You know, every week, every practice, you know, it's finish. You know, we. Just, you know, we got to start doing that. You know, it's, I, like I said, it's, we're not intense. We're not relaxing. We're not, you know, uh, just doing this, th these things on purpose. I mean, it's just things are not going our way. And at some point it's going to turn around, but we just got to, we have to make it, make it happen, not just wait around and expect it. How do you guys keep the faith at, at this point with so many things having gone wrong consistently? It's all you can do. I mean, we got to move on. We, we already had our bye week. We got, 12 more games in a row, we, and it's, it's not going to get easier. Nobody's going to come in and save us. You know, we got we to gotta find a way to, to, to get some wins. We've got some tough opponents coming up, and uh, yeah, it's on us. It's not no one else outside this building is going to come in and save us and make things better. we got to look in the mirror and uh, get better uh, as individuals and get better as old. Does the huddle still believe in the quarterback? Yes, we do. What's your... I guess your advice to Will, because you're, you're in that center and quarterback relationship where you have to work together. What's your advice to him through his struggles right now? Keep keep being him. Like he, I see this guy work every. He's in here early, first one in, when the last one's out. Keep being him. It'll turn around eventually. We're gonna get better around him. You just keep doing what, what, what you're doing and uh, keep working how you're working. It's gonna turn around. Do you remember a time where you were on a team that had to learn how to finish in season and just kind of how does a team do that? Yeah, I mean, uh, throughout my – every year in Denver, we, I feel like we were you know, dealing with this. And then last year, I mean, we started off 0-5, had a, lot, a bunch of close games. And then I think in the month of December, uh, we got on, the, uh, got on the road, got hot, and we started to finish these close games, you know, big-time wins and, and – Making plays and big time moments, so you know we just keep going. It, it's going to turn around eventually, but like I said, we got to make it happen, and not just continue to wait around and just say it's going to turn around. We got to do something to to make it. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.